I maybe should have gone a different way. Like the path everyone else was taking, not the path that I saw only a handful of people take today. I didn't want to go where everyone else was going. It's like squelchy clay stuff. Oh, that's a good night. Okay, that's not great. It's gonna hold on to a tree trunk, a dead tree. Ooh, uh. My balance is not great today, so I'm not feeling amazing. Okay, prickly tree. <laughs> okay, let's hope that once I get past this bit, the path gets better. <laughs> starting to feel a little bit travelled out. <laughs> At this point I've been away almost two months. Uh, it's actually the longest I've ever been out of the UK. I think seven weeks was my previous limit. Um, yeah, it's obviously different being in your own home rather than like travelling with everything in a bag or a rucksack. But um, it's, yeah, I've just done a bit too much moving around recently and I'm maybe just ready to stay still <laughs> but I need to get back up north to get a ferry back to the UK um I have a bit of a deadline for getting back to Scotland because I'm doing a Reiki course in April that I need to get back for so um yeah I'm just a little bit tired and um I had a couple of weeks where I didn't really stay anywhere more than one night until Last week I managed Monday, Tuesday night in one place. I basically just spent, I don't know, a week and a half or two weeks moving every day and that's just not, not good for me. Um, it's, it's very tiring when you do that and um, yeah, I'm tired. Luckily I'm going back to my cousin's for a couple of nights, which is really lovely. <laughs> um, so I can just stay put tomorrow and... Also, you know, use the shower and stuff. It'll be really nice and have good company. And then I need to head north. <laughs> um, I think I've got two and a half weeks to do what took me like five on the way down. <laughs> I'm really not used to such long straight roads that just seem to go on forever. I stopped off for a rainy walk around some lakes to break up my journey to my cousin's place. This looks like it must be a nice spot when it's not raining. <laughs> Look at the size of this. It's crazy. I'm trying to work out which tree it's come from, but it's not. Not any of the ones right beside where it was, which was like here beside me. Hmm. Intriguing. There's a load of smaller ones, but nothing like the size of the other one. Still, I somehow just love the way these things look. Very cool. So there's loads on these two trees, but none of them are that big. I got a little stuck in the spot for a couple of nights when I totally ran out of energy and couldn't actually move. When I'm a bit too tired to go outside, just get the sunset from inside the van, guys. <laughs> That's all you're getting tonight. I was headed to see one of my mother's cousins and I did make it there eventually and had a couple of lovely chill days taking it easy with them and seeing some of my family that I hadn't seen in over 20 years. 
Luckily, they live in the countryside with a slightly wild garden and a lovely quiet spot, which is just what I need when I'm feeling burnt out. Hi Beetle, you look cute. Oh, I <laughs> can't see you, the grass is in the way. Totally spoiled again, staying with family for a couple of nights and this time I get a bath, which I'm going to have tonight. And then um, open up the bathroom window and there's my home. I also really like the pattern that the lampshade makes. <laughs> oh, that lizard just went fast. Saw an opportunity. Oh, hi. He's there. I don't want to freak him out, so I'll leave him alone. Plus, I was supposed to be hanging up laundry and I got distracted by lizards. <laughs> you gotta love it when you just meet this on a path and you go, ugh, am I gonna have to balance? Probably. Oof. This could be interesting. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna end up with a muddy foot, I think. Yes, definitely. That's way too slippy. <laughs> I had my grippy boots on, maybe. Um, maybe up this way. Okay. Two very muddy boots. <laughs> I don't lose my whole feet though, so um, that's good. I expected it to be deeper. This is where I am today. In here, so my van is here. I'm going to try and do this without running out of energy. I was reading a message from my friend. Offered to pick up food from France before heading back to the UK. Um, and then we're having a debate over whether I would eat the crisps on the way or whether they'd get crushed on the way back to Scotland. Okay, so through the trees I can see one of the lakes I'm trying to get to. It's a cool blue coloured water because of the rocks and stuff. I think it's an old quarry. Um, but it looks kind of cool. I have been absolutely shattered this past week. I, um, I keep walking into spider webs, which would imply that I'm maybe not on the same route as everyone else. Oh, okay. I know when I'm really, really tired, aside from spending a day this week in bed, I went to my cousins for a couple of nights. They were kind of busy, but um, let me come over anyway, because I was just, I'd been moving too much and I was feeling really shattered. And that was really nice. Um, and then I was going from there to my my mum's, one of my mum's cousins, who I had not seen in over 20 years, <laughs> which means I was a teenager last time they saw me. So... Um, yeah, I was heading there and then just crashed. I was, I was feeling ugh anyway, and then just couldn't, the day I was supposed to go to them, I was going in the afternoon, but I spent the morning in bed, then I went back to sleep. Then I realised that other than getting up to go outside to pee, couldn't really do anything. And um, yeah, so I, I postponed by a day and then went to their place, which is absolutely lovely. Um, a little bit taxing for the brain for all three of us because they maybe speak a tiny bit more English than I speak French. It's patchy all round from the three of us so there was a lot of uh, them speaking some English, me speaking a tiny bit of dodgy French and uh, lots of stuff getting looked up on Google Translate but it was good in terms of practice and they were also just got a fly flying around me. They were also really great at just, they knew I wasn't feeling well, so they were like, rest when you need to rest. Sleep as late as you need to sleep. Have a rest after lunch before we go and do something. And we won't do very much and um, and then wouldn't let me help with anything. So they fed me and um, yeah, it was really, really lovely. And felt I felt a lot better leaving there. 
And I didn't go very far when I left yesterday. I kind of picked up some bread and then drove up the road to somewhere or to here where I wanted to go and explore. And then I felt a bit off last night. So I got here late afternoon and it was reasonably busy. And I decided to just not go for a walk. <laughs> just decided to chill. And then when I got up this morning, I decided that I wasn't going to move today. <laughs> I made plans for tomorrow and where I want to go next and a different route back north to the one I took south so that I can see some different things, assuming I have the energy for them later in the week. Um, and I was originally going to do some driving today. So the roads are usually quiet on a Sunday. But yeah, decided against it. So I've tried to do a bit of editing, not got very far. I feel really tired. And I know I feel really tired because when I go for a walk, I walk up something that's just not not even a hill, like a little slope. And my lungs feel like they're working harder than usual. And I just feel like I've not got enough oxygen. So I've got an itchy head today. I've got people coming up behind, so I might stop chatting to the camera. The colours of the ground are kind of cool. Gonna go away. Do, 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 do. Where are you off to? Just wandered off the path a little because these trees caught my attention. <laughs> and then this is really cool. Some of it looks cactusy. It's like. How weird. Well that's convenient. I took the long route round at the beginning and now that I'm on my way back and pretty tired and ready to have a rest. I took the most direct route that everyone seems to take and my van's just over there ahead. That's nice. Just one more challenge to get back to the van. <laughs> I stayed in this spot for a couple of nights and after the weekend crowds during the day emptied out and I had it to myself in the evenings. Just how I like it. Okay, so I have treated myself for lunch. I haven't had sushi in ages and the, I could smell it in the supermarket and they had veggie sushi. And um, I was just at that point where I was like, I really want to eat something different to what I've been eating. <laughs> this happens to me. I, um, I hit a point every now and then where I'm just like, I just want to eat something different. Usually if I haven't been eating Asian food, it's Asian food. If I haven't been eating anything Italian and European, then it's that. So, um, it smells good. <laughs> and I'm going to eat one now before I drive and I'm hopefully going to find a shower today and then get somewhere quieter because I'm next to a busy road at a big supermarket shopping centre place. And it's a bit like, oof, but I have to eat some now, otherwise I'll want to eat it when driving and that will make a mess and not be very safe. So, it smells good. I'm excited. Okay guys, something very exciting. I have bought a new pee jar. <laughs> For anyone that doesn't live this way, this is probably just going to seem really bizarre. But originally I had this bottle, which I still use for wastewater and stuff sometimes, which is why it looks a bit dirty. But the top is not big enough for me. Uh, and it can be messy. <laughs> Since I've been in France, I've been using a spare one of these. I love compote. And um, the top of the jar is a bit bigger. Works for me. But it's like less than a litre of water. And occasionally... That I need more than that. So I've been on a hunt for a suitable one for absolutely ages and then I've gone for this. I wanted glass because um, it means that it uh, it doesn't like stain and get the smell the same way as um, plastic and this one is that means it should be 100% like watertight I believe and 1.2 litres so more than I should ever need in one go which means no accidents and messes which is very important, so I'll maybe let you guys know how it goes 
I'm hoping this will do the job. The only downside is that this fitted really neatly just behind my heater vent there and didn't go anywhere. And my new jar is just too big, which I knew would happen. But it means I'm not really sure where I'm going to keep it so that it doesn't like fall out of the van and break. But I am probably going to end up putting something on the outside to, uh, yeah, stop me from breaking it. <laughs> These have got to be the nicer showers I've found in services. There's one in here and then two more. And these two. I mean, yeah, that looks pretty decent. I was half undressed when I decided to check the water and it turns out that you have to go pay for them to turn on the water for the showers. And then there is a time limit, but also they have no hot water. And if I was not going further up the road, I'd just pay for a cold one. Though I did, I managed to get them down from two euros to one because I was like, two euros is for a hot shower. You're not paying two euros for a cold one. And then a lorry driver paid. So he got a discount um, <laughs> while I was trying to work this out. But he said there's another one up the road. It's like 30 kilometers or something up the road. I'm going that far anyway. So I'm going to try that one and hope that they have a shower. He did also suggest another one just up from that, but it's like a lorry one. I don't know if it's only a lorry stop. I was a bit scared to pull, like, drive into somewhere that's like lorry services with my van and just feel squished by lorries. But yeah, I'm going to get driving and hope that the next one is uh, warm. <laughs> it would be nicer to have a warm shower. Okay, 40 kilometres up the road and two euros fifty for a shower. But I wasn't feeling like a cold shower. Uh, this one is not as nice. There are literally no hooks. I'm like, how do you have no hooks in a shower to hang anything? Bizarre. It'll do, I guess. I think I have scored with this parking. There's my van over there, currently on my own. Uh, it's a very quiet spot. There's water disposal, fresh water, recycling. There's a toilet in there. It has no toilet paper, but it's incredibly clean. And I have my own toilet paper, so that doesn't bother me. And when I'm going to use a toilet somewhere like this for the first time, I always pop some toilet paper in my pocket just in case, especially if I'm desperate for a wee, because then, yeah, <laughs> you never know if they're going to have toilet paper in France. I've just done a load of driving today to get to a different area, and then there's some stuff not far from here that I want to spend a day or so exploring, but I need a little bit more energy than I have right now. Um, and I also know that if I go and do that tomorrow, I might not, it's Monday today, I might not get a video out this week if that happens. So I'm going to try and edit a bit tonight, edit tomorrow, and then hopefully I will, um, yeah, have done enough that I can go explore on Wednesday. Yeah, so I'm going to go for a little walk. I like this little tiny bridge. I love weeping willow trees. There's something about them. I'm guessing that's what this is. I used to see them as a kid. I don't really see them in Scotland. It's a real shame there's um, currently a barrier because otherwise I want to stand under it. It looks beautiful. I kind of like the way these feel. They're kind of rubbery. It's a bit weird, but I kind of like it. Definitely like the way they look. There's so much growing on this wall. Look at all of this. Look at the shape of these. That's amazing. These are very pleasing to the eye. Kind of want some. Bloppy, bloppy mistletoe in the trees. If you haven't spotted my posts on here or on Instagram, you might not know that I'm actually back in Scotland now. I have such a backlog of videos, I still have two or three left of my travels in France, and then I'll catch you up on what I've been doing since I got back to the UK. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for all of that.